If you just keep that Bravo. going, you're, you're going to keep breathing. There's more in this for us. There's more in this. Good start to the second half. We're giving this shit away. I love the Open Cup. I absolutely love it. This is a good opportunity because this is a busy stretch of time too for sporting. So it's a very important game, but man, this tournament's awesome. In goal, it's John Polskamp. Steven Afrifa, Marina's Drummies. Very skillful young players. Big opportunity for them right here. Eric Talmy getting chopped to ground. If you hit this one on target, any little deflection can take it in. It can go in. Felipe Hernandez will hit it in, and it's off of Tulsa and in the back of the net. This angle is so difficult to defend. Just shoot this one hard, and Felipe Hernandez does exactly what he should do. 100% deserved. Fifth corner of the first half here for SKC. It finds Agata, hits the post, and it's a free fuck. Who taps it in? And you can see by the smile on his face what that means to him. Excellent header from Willy Gata. Honestly, he does everything right. But Steven Afrifa, right place at the right time. We saw him hit the crossbar earlier in this game. He makes no mistake with this one. Congratulations to Steven Afrifa for his first professional goal here with Sporting Kansas City. It was just that overwhelming dominance. I mean, you look at the, the stats, right? 15 shots for Sporting, only one for Tulsa. Yes, it was a great save, but Sporting did exactly what they wanted to do. It's definitely a thing to note with that save from John Polskamp, keeping this match nil-nil. SKC quickly go and make it 2-0. Perfect half overall from Sporting. Sporting Kansas City winning it back. Just really Agata pushes forward here for SKC. Felipe Hernandez now pushing into the attack. Inside the 18, on his right foot, it's Hernandez! Sporting Kansas City cruising with his second on the night. No doubt that it's all him. Great step over, just creates that yard of space. It's exactly what he's trying to do. Sporting up 3-0 here in the 64th minute. Now into the attacking third for SKC across Marino's Jonis in the middle. It's Jonis who will hit one, and Jonis scores! Everything coming up aces for SKC, and Mr. U.S. Open Cup strikes again. Even Afrifa, great first touch, great second touch, great movement, and Michael Crick doesn't even move. What a hit this is from Johnny's. Goes with power now in the 65th minute, scoring up 4-0. Ever since I've been here at the club, Peter's put it into us that it's a big historic competition that we always want to compete in as a club, as a team. I know all the guys want to be, you know, competing for a trophy whenever we step out for any game, but also the Open Cup games. We just put our everything into it because we always want to win any silverware, any, anything like that, any trophy. I love it. You see it all over and all over the world, you know, teams in the first division playing against teams in lower divisions. It's a huge game, you know, because teams coming up, you know, they got nothing to lose. And then for us, obviously, at the higher level club, we want to win trophies as well, so it's just, uh, it makes it fun, it's really fun. Uh, you scored a brace this last match against Tulsa, you did it against Omaha in 2022. Yeah, I scored the brace and that was awesome. And then obviously, oh, I did it again, but it was even better that it was here at home. It's always good to get on the score sheet. Luckily, they gave me that first goal, so I'll take it. Next round. So Marino's also has a habit of scoring in the Open Cup. Yeah, I mean, off the field, he's, a good, funny guy. Ever since he got here, we, you know, joked around, became good friends. And then obviously in training, usually it's him on the right side and I'm in the midfield on the right side. So we've been playing a lot together. So obviously when we're out on the field in games, it's, it makes it much easier. I think um, we should stop to look back at things which didn't work out. Um, it's obviously not the, the start we, we expected, but um, uh, yeah, I think it's it's the right moment for everybody uh, and to understand that we need to collect points as soon as possible.
something uh, since my arrival that made us strong is uh, to believe in ourselves, to, to believe in our team and uh, to trust everyone and to bring the right mentality on the pitch. Emilia in goal making his 13th start this year, his 250th start in his 15 year MLS regular season career and Memo Rodriguez in the midfield. Obviously missing Remy Voltaire, uh, but Memo Rodriguez steps in again and he leads the team with an assist with four. They got a great win on Tuesday in the US Open Cup. And looking at this Timber side, not coming off short rest like Sporting Kansas City are. New head coach, Phil Neville, said that he wants his team to be ruthless and, and so did Peter Vermees. So I think both teams tonight are looking for some hunger and some fight in their players. Make your assessment quick on what they're doing. You know, we just play from there. Everything becomes irrelevant. If we're really good with the ball, they have to, they have to worry about us. Let's make them worry about it. Oh, let's go, let's go. Let's kick some ass today on three. Win. One, two, three. Win! Yeah, we go right away. We've started every second half. Moving the ball, moving chances against team. Here's Sporting though picking the ball back up once again on this left side. Leibel plays it into Russell, a one-touch pass. Now Russell getting it back. Here's Polito inside the 18. Rodriguez will rip, and he finds the inside of the post. Neville Rodriguez is scorcher to put Sporting Kansas City back on level terms. Crepo gets a touch on it, but it's not enough. He's known to hit these kind of shots. First time, absolute rockets. He does it here for Sporting. Nemo Rodriguez is the kind of player who has been searching for that first goal. That's his first goal in Sporting Blue. It's 1-1.